And Regis Philbin bid farewell to morning television today. Yeah, he hosted live for 28 years, or 28 and a half years, he liked to point <laughs> out this morning. And this morning, his final show on live with Regis and Kelly took place. It was a special celebration full of stars, surprises, and a, a few tears. And our, right here. Yeah, and I was going to say our own Alicia Smith was crying right as well. Right here, it was an emotional it show. It was. You know? and, yeah, and you've got a terrific story right now because it's up near and dear to your heart, and obviously oh, it was an emotional sense. Off. Yeah, everybody, was. everybody touches, you know, he touches their heart. And we're talking 17,000 hours he spent on TV. Such an icon, the morning maestro. And with this last hour, we were reminded why we loved every minute of it. This is it. Regis Philbin took his last walk through the halls of the Live with Regis and Kelly show, encouraging a teary Kelly Rippa all the way. They strolled onto stage before a standing ovation from a star studded crowd. In the beloved host chat, he couldn't help but crack a few jokes. Well, I feel, you know, a little the weight of the whole thing, you know, the somberness of it all. Mm. <laughs> and where's Regis going? Regis, oh no! <laughs> but he showed his softer side in pre-taped personal reflections. I think I'm going out uh, a pretty proud and happy guy. And people showed him the love today, from staffers to total strangers, his wife Joy and their two daughters, Joanna and JJ. New York Mayor Michael Bloomberg presented Regis with the key to the city, and Disney ABC President Bob Iger unveiled a plaque honoring him on ABC's building. The cast of Rent performed a personalized version of Seasons of Love, referring to all of the airtime he spent in our lives. He almost teared up on that one. The most tears, though, came from Kelly Rippa. I've had the privilege of walking 43 steps with you from my dressing room to the studio floor five days a week for the past 11 years. His final goodbye, short and sweet. But I'll always remember spending these mornings with all of you. So thank you very much for these great years together. God bless you all, and I hope I see you again real soon. Thanks, everybody. Well, we will see him. He's on a book tour right now. And I mentioned star studded crowd. Everybody from Diane Sawyer to Katie Couric to Donald Trump was there. And yeah. of course, his former co host, Kathy Lee Gifford. It was really, it was a special hour. It really was. It really was. It was, I was well, it was well, it was well done. And <laughs> it it's was, something yeah. that uh, I think he enjoyed. You could see it as yeah. well. It was just he proper. Did. You could tell he didn't like, like some been. of the attention. You know, you felt like it was almost a little yeah. bit much. You and know? he didn't but want that's his cry. personality. Yeah, yeah he had bet Katie Couric. He wouldn't. And he held in there. Yeah, yeah, he did. Gripping at the end. That's right. Thank you, Alicia.